Matt Banward. That was too much. What was that? That was that was over the top. Keep it going for everyone you've seen tonight, everyone. That was great. I want to I want to address this up top. If you see me shake, I'm not nervous. I have hand tremors. It's a medical condition. Yeah, for me, every weight's a shake weight. I <laughs> I don't have the option not to. I, I've tried. <laughs> it sucks. My handwriting's just like a horror film's title font. It's it's so bad. I can't go blind. I would read Braille with a stutter, you know? It's, <laughs> it sucks, dude. I, uh, I want to go to California or experience an earthquake, like, just so I can be steady. <laughs> Everyone's like, ah, oh, what's happening? I'm like, I don't know, sudden clarity? <laughs> I, I hate the tremors so much. My ex, well done. <laughs> Oh, you guys don't finger over here? Oh, you guys don't? <laughs> Missionary sex only? Oh, you hate foreplay? All right. This guy fucks, dude. This guy was so down for foreplay. <laughs> you got big hands, bro. You got immediate deal. Imagine those hands on this fucking software. I mean, <laughs> dude, why even have sex? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, I'm like the world's worst superhero. It's like, it's the vibrator. <laughs> Did you crack the code? No, but it said it was close 10 minutes ago. I don't fucking... <laughs> no fucking no shit, dude. It sucks. It's, uh, it, it's a, don't laugh, it's terrible. It's not, you can laugh. Uh, <laughs> I hate it, dude. Everyone's telling me, like, Matt, you should go get medication for it in Mexico. You get cheap medication for it in Mexico. I've thought about it. I could not pull that off. Like on the way back, I'd be steady, but on the way down, I'm fucked. <laughs> like at the border, they're gonna be like, sir, why are you going to Mexico? And I just have to be like, oh, vacation? <laughs> oh, little old me, I'm just here to chill. <laughs> and relax. I'll have a martini, stir it, fuck it, shake it. I, <laughs> I don't have the option, dude. The weirdest part was like talking to my doctor about it because on the way out, he was like, uh, Tremors, you have your mom's side of the family to blame for that. And I was like, who the fuck do you think you are? My dad? <laughs> That's his whole thing. He loves blaming them for stuff. I don't know. I don't trust pharmacists. I don't trust Johnson & Johnson because that just sounds like an inbred couple decided to hyphenate. <laughs> oh, weird. The back right corner of the room pulled back on inbred material. Interesting. Noted. Noted. Is this what your family tree looks like? Is this you? This, they look like you. These people didn't like foreplay either, okay? <laughs> Honey, my fingers are all worn out on the fiddle. I don't have nothing to give to you no more. <laughs> what in the state of Kentucky is that? What the fuck? Why, I say, I say, I say, you've never seen a six-piece band like us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fuck. I... Why, you've never seen a seven-piece fiddle orchestra like us. <laughs> fuck it, six-piece, I'm not counting the woman, okay? Oh, oh, sorry, in this imaginative scenario I made up, they're sexist, okay? <laughs> You tell me that man isn't sexist right now. He ain't never seen an orgasm in all his life. I say, I say, I say, what even is this clitoris fall? That's the devil's button, don't even touch it. God took a rib out of man and I don't know what the fuck he did down there. I don't even like pussy, I wish there was a dick on him. <laughs> that pussy still getting views, I wish there was a nice old cock on him. <laughs> Roberto, get over here. <laughs> Jebediah, come in. <laughs> Anthony, get in on this. Jeffrey, come on, man. William, whip out your hog. 
He looks the most like a Republican senator of the crew. <laughs> Damn, bro, you can film me. I don't care. <laughs> oh, we've made music before, but tonight we're making love. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> You guys are so fucking sick. I, I love you guys, man. Here's the thing, I was thinking about this today. Who is the guy that decided that uh, handicapped bathroom stalls always go at the end of the bathroom? <laughs> Were they just mad that their parking spot was too good? <laughs> man, we'll make them walk where it's slippery. We'll show them they've had it too good for too long. <laughs> Is this news? I, this is the news. This is on NPR today. In the state of Vermont, they outlawed father-daughter dances. You guys hear about that? None of you guys listen to NPR? <laughs> <laughs> you look like the poster child of NPR, man. You had a decorative scarf on. Do you paint and or do pottery? <laughs> A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Oh shit, I almost <laughs> Is the owners not in here anymore? I did not hit that wall like that. I hit that wall and it caved in. <laughs> I hit that wall and I was like, damn, I don't even know my own strength. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. But paint and potter. I'm a genius. I <laughs> You're like, do I even go back to that, dude? They're uh, NPR, anyway, you you heard about this. And on NPR today, they were saying that in the state of Vermont, they outlawed father-daughter dances because they discriminated against mothers and sons. Yeah, my issue was the lack of no grinding policy. That was... <laughs> Once again, the back right corner is not in on this incest material, and... <laughs> you guys have that thing growing up where all your coaches were your teachers? You ever been called queer by a guy who has to teach you civil rights? <laughs> okay, class, identify your oppressors. Ah, you, actually. <laughs> 20 hours ago. <laughs> this is a real thing. My, uh, my, my best friend from high school called me two weeks ago, and he told me that he's transitioning uh, into a goth. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm a progressive dude. I'm a progressive dude, and... Uh, I don't think you get to do that. <laughs> Here's the thing, you can be goth at 30. You can be goth at 30. You just can't start at 30. <laughs> you can be goth at 30, that's fine, but you have to be raised by the darkness. You can't merely adapt it? Re really? Really? You're gonna start cutting yourself right when it becomes an HR issue? Uh, I wanted to feel something. Now you have to do paperwork. I insanity dude all he was like no dude their music's better dude my chemical romance i was like check your chemical imbalance <laughs> their movies are better too invader zim curtis the cowardly dog i was like yeah you're just a disney adult in black that's <laughs> well you are dude i'm a progressive guy i'm you can do whatever you want i'm cool with that i uh i would be more progressive but i realized in college you get diversity courses by doing dance classes yeah i'm the problem i <laughs> Well, all my friends are taking feminism one, two, and three. I was studying how to be great at parties. <laughs> and here's the thing, the classes actually did teach what they were supposed to teach me. Like one day, one of my friends was like complaining. He was like, I have a 10 page paper on fragile masculinity. Matt, you know, fragile masculinity. It's when men are too afraid to deem the feminists. So they put themselves through trials and tribulations arbitrarily making the lives of silent suffering. I was like, damn, that is so tough. This is the mashed potato. This is... <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing all week I <laughs> dude I'm not even good at it <laughs> it's crazy I took two dance classes in college and I still get a boner when I grind I mean <laughs> oh you guys pro my college <laughs> alright I'll stop getting boners when I grind then I guess <laughs> I won't uh, <laughs> whoopsie daisy <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty like politically moderate. I'm like moderate. I'm left. I'm moderate left. Like, here's the thing. I, I like to have empathetic. Like, I'm left enough to admit, I don't think they should have stormed the Capitol on January 6th, but I'm also moderate enough to admit it looked like a great fucking time. 
I mean, what, okay, the reasons were bad, don't get me wrong, but face paint, antlers, capture the flag with the boys? <laughs> and where better to do it than the nation's capital? <laughs> hey guys, that's, it's not political, okay? I mean, dude, can you imagine going and hide and go seek in the Oval Office, you know? <laughs> You're like, ah, ah, where's Santos? He's in the closet, I mean. <laughs> what, you wouldn't play tag here with Nancy Pelosi? I mean, come on. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I got you. What do I buy this week? I mean, that is... I mean, guys, this is not political, okay? Any side of the aisle, any senator or congressperson, they were shitting in their offices. Pick one. Who would it be? Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump? Not a senator or congressperson. <laughs> Mine would be Mitch McConnell, because he's like 90 years old. Yeah, he shit himself in that office. <laughs> you could shit yourself in Mitch McConnell's office. He would be in there. He wouldn't do anything. He'd just be like... Like, uh, are you into it or what? What is? <laughs> Dude, his interns have cleaned up so much shit in that office. <laughs> they'd walk in the next day and be like, oh, fuck, again? <laughs> and they're giving a hard time in the news. They're like, oh, yeah, these rioters, they stole a podium. I was like, yeah, the gift shop was closed. <laughs> they made history. They deserve a memento, you know? <laughs> you guys pulled back on that joke. I don't like that. That's a silly joke, okay? You guys seem like cool people. Are you guys cool? Yeah. Yeah? Dude in the white shirt in the second table. What's your name? You're the only guy in a white shirt at the second table. Carlos. That's a sick ass name. I knew it. I knew it was a Carlos, that you sound like you make love. <laughs> it, I, he goes, oh me? Oh me? I'm Juan Carlos. <laughs> oh, little old me? <laughs> yeah, I'm Carlos. That's a sick name. That's a sick ass name, dude. My name fucking sucks. My name's Matt. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's generic ass name. My parents were like, no, Matt's a special name. It's Hebrew. It means gift from God. I'm like, yeah, if I'm a gift from God, I'm just living proof it's the thought that counts. <laughs> my mom popped me out. My dad was like, doc, no refunds. <laughs> Sucks. My little brother was born uh, six years after me. His name's Chris. I looked up Chris. That's a, uh, a Greco-Roman name that roughly translates to, uh, oops. <laughs> six years, that's a bit of a gap, you know? <laughs> Not exactly pin. My parents were always like, no, 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 Matt's a great name. It's a book in the Bible. And I was like, yeah, but there's way cooler book names. <laughs> Can you imagine a kid in Deuteronomies? <laughs> or like Ecclesiastes? <laughs> You could have triplets and name them numbers one, two, and three. <laughs> oh yeah, I hear the little Colossian boys coming in. <laughs> Those are great names. My parents were like, no, 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 it's great. And I was like, no, it's not. And I'll sell you guys on it, okay? Here's a way better name. Imagine pulling up on the first day of school. You're like, yo, teacher, uh, here's my son, um, Leviticus. Yo, what's up? <laughs> yo, Leviticus, uh, do the thing. I'm too levit, too levit to quit. Uh. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that kid runs this place now, actually. <laughs> That's way better than Matt, dude. My little brother's the cool one, too. Chris, you know the accident? He's so sick. He's, he's into shoes. That's like his favorite thing in shoes. I'm so, I'm into this. <laughs> yeah, this was not cool, K through 12. <laughs> I took my little brother, I used to live in Chicago. And, uh, my little brother took him downtown. He stopped a stranger downtown in Chicago and was like, yo, man. And the guy was like, yo, what? And he was like, are those authentic 1995 Red Edition Chicago Bull Jordan 3s you have on? <laughs> and now they're best friends. <laughs> He's in a group chat with them. <laughs> they still talk. <laughs> That's crazy. There's no such thing as like shirt culture or pants culture. Like I can't stop some random lady on the street and be like, hey, by, pan by chance, ma'am, is that a... 70 inch waistband, authentically sun bleached, stretched pair of boot cut Levi jeans you have on? Because I noticed. <laughs> like, you walk in my little brother's place, there's shoes out on display. You walk into my place, there's pants out on display. For him, you're like, cool. For me, you're like, laundry? <laughs> you go to someone's house, they're like, shoes off at the door. You go to my place, you're like, pants off at the door. You'll leave. <laughs> she just did. <laughs> It's okay, it was too seductive of an act. <laughs> Pure raw sex up here. <laughs> Feast your eyes, ladies, gentlemen, southern racists. <laughs> I say I'm 
can't believe he told me to take my pants off. <laughs> I want to know their story, okay? <laughs> I want to know who are these people and why are they dressed in all white? Not a good look for white dudes. And all right, loosen up. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Let's go to the rodeo. <laughs> Yeah, you thought this act was going bad. It's gonna get a lot worse. It's just, the last five minutes is me talking to this painting. Yeah, I don't know if he was good at stand-up, but he seemed like an inspired artist. God, what does it mean? <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys don't fully appreciate it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We haunt the comet. <laughs> it's me, Alberto. No. <laughs> I'm just possessed the last five minutes of this. <laughs> like, what the hell happened there? I don't know. He got way too Kentucky. Wow. I'm like a medium. I'm just projecting their story. <laughs> Who booked them? What is their rate? How much did they get paid? I want their rate, okay? I'm not getting paid enough to dress like that. Yo, yeah, we'll get the book out here. I'm gonna fight with them. Let's, <laughs> this turns into a wrestling match. <laughs> I suplex them, like, pay me whatever you paid them. I bet they just pay for shillings and the gratification of the art. <laughs> Couldn't be me, I gotta pay my rent. <laughs> Holy shit. So these people are the Comets. <laughs> this venue's named after them. You thought it was a space rock, no. Also, as far as like 1800s music goes, come, it's a sick ass name. <laughs> you're following like Jebediah and the Sons. <laughs> and you're like, we're the comets. And they're like, we haven't even discovered what that is yet. <laughs> we're calling them falling stars still. <laughs> hey, brother, that's an Avicii song. Um, <laughs> you like Avicii? <laughs> oh, you're just reciting my own line back to me, okay. That was fun. You're doing the karaoke portion of the show. <laughs> uh, this is sick. You guys seem like cool people. I, uh, I'm not a cool person, man. I've never been cool. I'm trying to be cool. This is a, this is a thing. Oh, God. Last month, I bought a chain. <laughs> Don't laugh, man. Pretty fucking sick, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I got this chain for $15 at TJ Maxx. <laughs> Is it real? No. <laughs> Dude, $15 for a chain. People have done more for Mardi Gras beads, okay? Uh, it's changed colors on me so many times, it's practically just a mood chain at this point. It's nice. It gives me superpowers. Now, whenever I get angry, my neck turns green. I'm like 138 the Hulk. <laughs> You know, I was in Chicago, like I said earlier, for a while, and everyone in Chicago has this weird complex, so they have to be cool. Like, every guy has to be tough and cool in Chicago. And, like, it was weird for me, because, like, you know, my friends are going around in a circle, and I was like, oh, I grew up on the south side of Chicago, so you know I'm fucking tough. And I was like, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. My other friend's like, yo, I got a big Chicago Italian family, so you know I'm fucking tough. And I was like, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, Matt, well, what about you? And I was like, well, I was uh, raised in Iowa. And they're like, continue, and I was like, uh, DNA test came back, turns out I'm majority Swiss. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Break that down for us. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't question your things. <laughs> so I said to make shit up on the spot. I was like, yeah, it was so tough. Uh, every day I'd show up to school and they'd go, ooh, 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 look, there's a little Swiss kid. Ooh, 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 the abominable Swiss freak. Oh, how'd you get you? I bet you skied, I bet you skied in, you Alpine American. That's our slur. Okay, ooh. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, little sis kid, want to join the band? Guess what? Sold their last accordion. <laughs> oh, want to join the orchestra? Shit, fresh out of mountain horns. Oh, want to join the choir? Nope, no yodeling. Oh, have a sore throat. Here, have a Ricola. Ricola for the Swiss kid. Yo, give me your lunch money. What are you going to do? Take out a knife? There's too many things on your knives. Oh, 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 silly little Swiss kid. Oh, ooh, what's that? You dumbass wooden shoes. Clop, clop, clop. Here comes the Swiss kid. Oh, oh, hey, Swiss kid. Why is there holes in your cheese? 
Are you fucking your cheese, you fucking cheese fucker? You fucking cheese fucker? Why the fuck are you fucking your fucking cheese? You fucking your fucking cheese? And that's what they said to me every day. And I bet you guys are wondering, Matt, how'd that make you feel? Uh, pretty neutral, actually. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Oh, yeah. Matt, give it up for Matt, everybody. Matt, Matt, Matt Banwart.